Susan, I can't believe we found the dress. That was a great Look, you try it some more if you like. No. I guess I was kind of a pain, wasn't I? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, up until the 327th dress, you were a pain. But after that, I mean, I mean, you know, we don't want to rush into anything. No. And the dress you picked out is beautiful. Yeah. It's a little wide. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too long, too. Well, we So we get a Alterations, okay? I think that lady over there, right? Hi. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, we need some dresses altered uh -huh. really quickly because my wedding's coming up. Of course. And, uh, what did you want to do? Well, I think mine's just a little bit too long. Okay. And your ears are too, um, too wide. wide. She needs wide. to have it taken in a little bit. Imagine. Well, I guess I just forgot my credit card. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't just let you walk out of the store with these clothes. No. Well, then my nurse will vouch for me. Oh, yes, good. Absolutely. You'll be paying for these then? Oh, no, no. Oh, Mrs. Lavery, hello. Do you have a problem? Well, um, I wanted to buy these dresses and I forgot my credit card and this woman will not sell them to me because she doesn't know who I am. You know who I am, don't you? Of course I know you, Mrs. Lavery. Oh, okay. Well, I can vouch for this woman. I'm amazed you're helping me. You see, this woman is, uh, Olivia Jerome. That is, the daughter of Victor Jerome. I'm sure you've heard about him, haven't you? This man that was just convicted of ordering the murder of my husband. This is his daughter. She looks perfectly innocent, doesn't she? But she's committed several horrible crimes of her very own, which she's conveniently forgotten. But I can vouch for this, can't I, Olivia? Come along, Olivia. was absolutely terrific. Oh, I knew he would be. Oh, yeah, you were a big help to you. Great picture, huh? And yeah. Harrison, wasn't he something? He was great. Yeah, he was. Did you get your dress? Yes, it looks gorgeous. Oh, that's great. You know, I better get over to Women's to try mine on before it closes. You should ask to see mine. They're doing alterations on it. Oh, and they're expecting you, too. Okay, good. I'll hurry, because I know we don't have much time. Colton, thanks again. You were mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. Thank you. The terrific guy you got here. I know. I know. So, tell me about your day. No, no, no. You first. Tell me about the wedding plans. So far, so good. Grandmother said she's coming to the wedding. Oh, really? That's great. And guess what? Hmm. Sean's taking care of everything. Sean? Well, at least we'll have enough champagne, huh? <laughs> you look so tired. Well, I am tired. I don't know. I just... I guess I feel emotionally drained, too. There's so much poverty out there. There's so many people. Mm, here I am talking about our wedding. No, 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 that's all right. I, I think I need to think about something that I have a little control over anyway. Are you sure working on the van isn't going to be too much for you? I am positive. Because even though I'm tired, it's good tired, you know? It's because I'm working at a job that's worth doing. It's not like working for the WSB and going chasing around after this stupid quest and Domino, some guy that's only interested in lining his own pockets. So you haven't got bit by the WSB bug? Not in the least. What if they ask you to do another job? Would you do it? First of all, my dear, they won't ask me to do another job. And secondly, if they do, I'll just say no. Because I have everything I want right here. You don't miss all that WSB excitement? Baby, you are all the excitement I will ever need. Mm. I know. <laughs> so, 
from now on, just you and me, right? Yeah. Let's just be the happiest couple in town, huh? Yeah, I wanna. Okay. <laughs> Περιμένετε εδώ παρακαλώ. Κρετάνιε, θα ξυμάδεις εδώ. Δεν λέω. Τι είπα τα Hello, Amy. Hi. How's it going with the wedding plan? Great. Oh. We still have a million things to do. Look, I have to talk to Dr. Davis. Can you check and see if he's got a couple of minutes for me? Sure thing. Please. We'll be sitting right over here. Okay. Can't miss me. I'm the one in the orange shirt. Pumpkin. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> We're never going to get all this stuff done, you know. Really? Honey, don't worry. We're going to get everything finished. Priority number one right now is that I get some time off from my new job so that we can have a honeymoon. You're right. Mm -hmm. That is the priority. Oh. Have, you know, um, I, I, I was thinking. What? Do you want to sleep with me tonight? Felicia Jones. It, you know very well that the bride and groom aren't supposed to see each other the night before the wedding. Uh, gonna get married tomorrow. I don't want to let you go. Ah, uh, no chance of that happening. Mm -mm -mm. Twenty-four hours from now, whether we finish this list or not. We are going to be Mr. and Mrs. Looking for an American passport. It will be costly. Perhaps we can do some business. Follow me. Just in time. But I'm the first guest to arrive at my own party. Well, that's great because you won't miss anything. You want me to help you do anything? No, 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 no. You just <laughs> sit down, relax, take a load off. Party. That's what Colton says. Take a load off. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a cookie. Oh, no, thanks. I'm really too nervous. <laughs> oh, come on. I baked them myself. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, in that case. I'll take one, too. Okay. Ah. Mm. I remember how Mommy was so nervous before our wedding with Duke. Oh. Well, did you bake her chocolate chip cookies then, too? No, well, it's too young to bake chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Well, these are delicious. Mm. Very good. Thanks. Oh, boy, I bet your mom is so proud of you baking cookies and doing decorations. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. But guess I've learned that, well, if I'm sad, then I'll make her sad, too. Mm. That's very grown up of you. <laughs> I think I'll go finish wrapping the presents. Presents? Okay. Me? Can I? Maybe. Can I help? Me? Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'll well, break it up myself. Yeah, she's a pretty incredible little girl. Yeah, so is her mother. Yeah. Sure this shower isn't going to be too hard on her? No, I think maybe it will actually take her mind off of some things, I think. What about you, Catherine? I heard what happened in Los Angeles. Yeah, well, wasn't really a lot of fun, no. <laughs> Good thing Robert showed up. Yeah, I was glad he showed up myself. He's kind of special, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, full of surprises, I guess you could say. You think maybe he's more than just a little special? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm.